In 2014, a man named Ayan Tishiota broke headlines when he became the first person to apply for refugee status as a result of changes to the environment in his native country of Kiribati, which was subject to flooding due to rising sea levels. Although he was denied, Tishiota brought to light the plight of an increasingly large demographic known as climate migrants, people displaced from their homes by either sudden or progressive changes in the environment. While the majority of climate migrants move within their own countries, those who do flee to other countries lack official refugee status meaning they are not protected under international law. Currently, estimates of the number of climate migrants by 2050 range from 25 million to 1 billion. Population growth contributes to migration pressures by straining limited natural resources and thus hindering people's ability to cope with the effects of climate change. One possible solution to the plight of climate migrants is the installation of climate adaptation programs. These programs, designed to prevent people from having to leave in the first place, could include equipping farmers for drought tolerance or raising homes out of floodplains. By teaching people how to deal with the effects of climate change, we could greatly reduce the number of climate migrants in the near future.